guys. Welcome to Rest Forever. I'm Roger. I'm Kyle. And we're going to talk a little bit about this week. Uh, we're going to do some Raw and SmackDown recap. Raw and SmackDown, yeah. Um, we're working on, we just got one of our recaps out, but we're working on kind of rearranging the schedule a little bit. Yeah. This way it's kind of a more concise thing. Uh, we're still figuring all this out. So This way you can kind of know what yeah. you're getting on certain days. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do this, and then uh, me and Rai are going to record the NXT and 205 Live stuff. Yeah. So you'll get separate episodes there with that stuff. Plus, we're going to do a little more of the shorts. If you didn't check out our Melter video, go check that out. I thought that video was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it's definitely something that a lot of other wrestling fans that check that stuff can relate to. So. Yeah, I'm still mad about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They got robbed. <laughs> they did. Uh, I don't even want to get into it. Yeah. Or, or, I'm moving on. Moving but, on. <laughs> yeah. So, Raw and SmackDown this week, they were okay shows. They were, they were, right. They were right in the middle, I feel like. Um, but so, I, I did I did have some moments of enjoyment out of there. Oh, yeah. There were some good parts. Yeah. Raw kicked off with, with Roman and Bray. That wasn't, you know. It's, it's like your typical Roman and Bray match. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good. It's going to be a good match. But we've just we've seen it so many yeah, times. Yeah, how many for times so, can you so see Bray eat the one, two, three on a spear? You know, and it's just I Bray. I think Bray probably actually needed this win more than Roman. Yeah, I I understand what WWE is going for with Roman right now, but yeah, Bray could. I feel like Bray is probably your your the top talent that has been wasted the most. Yep. He yeah. he could have been easily the most wasted. Yeah. Cuz he's lost any kind of steam he could ever be could have ever and, had. And what's really incredible too is just the the fact of how much steam that he had to get to this point. Yeah. Like even even with him being it took this much bearing and like that's that shows something. That's a measure of how much how much you squandered this guy that people love. Yeah. Um, I don't even wear my Bray Wyatt shirt anymore. Yep. I'm embarrassed to wear it. I still wear mine. I like Actually, it. Actually, I'm just... It looks like an old AFI shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's my old... kind of thing. Gets me going. I mean, I did get it from Hot Topic, so... I got mine from WWE Store, but it was on sale there you go. also, so... Um, but yeah, Roman wins, and he is now officially into the Elimination Chamber match. Yep. Matt comes out of nowhere, twist of fates him. Yeah. At least it wasn't a laugh off. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't a laugh off. Yeah, actually, on the time Tron, I'm, they got some can't handle that touch. crap anymore. Yeah, so, um, but this isn't the first time that we. This isn't the only time that we see Roman during the night. Nope. He pulled double duty. Yep, he came in with a came into frame with a nice little man bun later on. Yes, he did. Walked up to Seth because Seth uh, was asking about his title. His title shot that's supposed to be tonight. Well, Monday night. Monday night gets the bar. And. Um, because Jason Jordan is hurt, and Kurt's like, he really can't wrestle, he really is hurt. And then, at the beginning of the night, Jason Jordan said that he was good to go. Yeah, good to go. G-G-G. Not good to go. No, apparently. And he is definitely not, because, yeah. as we've learned today, Jason Jordan did have surgery yeah, they on said his neck. It, it, it might not be as bad as initially, uh, initially thought. His wife yes. came out and said that as well. But it still was a neck surgery. You know, they were still digging around his yeah, neck. Yeah, we don't have so. a timetable yet. Um, I've looked around. Yeah, I've, I've dug really hard trying to find... The, the only thing that I could find was <clears throat> the type of surgery that he did have. It it can sometimes be just a four to six weeks recovery mm-hmm. time. But, you know, these types of things. Yes. Yeah. You, especially you know, being a wrestler. Yeah, you and then saying, you know, that he was, you know, losing his, like, physical grip. Yeah, he couldn't like, grip. That's why yeah. you didn't see him perform at Royal Rumble or this week. Yep, that's what uh, what happened to Edge. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what happened to Edge. Um, but, yeah, they rearranged the nerve in his neck. They, something like they suppressed it or... Yeah, decompressed the nerve. Decompressed, yeah. that's that's it. Uh, I don't, I'm not a, you know, a surgeon or anything. You're not a wordsmith. But, yeah, <laughs> uh, a word surgeon. <laughs> A swergeon. A swergeon. <laughs> I like it. But, um, yeah, so they dug around in there. They pushed something down. I mean, it doesn't sound like, like it'll work to yeah. me, but yeah. I'm not a medical I mean, Seth Rollins, so. Seth Rollins wasn't too pleased either. He called him a son of a bitch. Yeah, he called him a son of a bitch. Which I, I, I like that. I like yeah. that little promo I, by Seth. It, I like that. The ending to the match. So the ending saw... Um, Jason Jordan comes out and he's trying to help him out. He's trying to... He, at one point, almost gets Cesaro curb stomped. 
which yes. Corey Graves referred to it as a stomp this yes, time. Yes, I did. I did. Um, so I guess that's what they're going to go yeah. with. Yeah. So they were they were going. He was going for the stomp. He missed. Um, and then Jason Jordan, they try to grab their titles. Cesaro and Sheamus try to grab their titles and leave. Yes. And Jason Jordan goes to stop them after Roman told him to leave. Yeah. He said, you need to get out of here. Uh, we can do this without you. Yeah. I mean, and he stayed, shield. and as soon as they went to leave, they pushed Jason Jordan, and they went to take a swing at him. He ducked, and he hit both of them. Yeah. And that was the count out, one, two, three. Roman and Seth were pissed. Yeah, they got disqualified. Yep. And they were just like, what are you doing? Yep. And, of course, Jason Jordan's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. This, That's my uh, Jason Jordan. Later in, the ma- later in the night, uh, Seth that. Rollins calls him the son of a bitch. Yeah. And um, it was really heated. It was awesome. It was, it, I think that was the best I've seen Seth in a while yeah. as doing promos. It just felt authentic. Yeah, it felt, felt good. Um, and, then, and, and Kurt, <laughs> well, then, Jason's like, he can't talk to me like that. <laughs> and Daddy Kurt just tells yeah. him to, to leave and yeah, go, go home. home. Go to You're your grounded. room. You're yeah, grounded. Go to your room. He grounded him, <laughs> sent him home. He's grounded from Raw. And and that was that. But overall, the whole the whole mix in yeah, was, I, was I, pretty good. I liked it. I mean, Jason, I, I'm hoping, at least with Jason Jordan, even if he can't perform, he's still on TV because he actually has been one of my little favorite parts of Raw lately. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's been the best wiener that you can possibly hope for. He's a good wiener. Um, great wiener, man. <laughs> great wiener. Fantastic. Excellent wiener. Yeah. Looks good. I mean, he's a he's a great bad wiener. <laughs> <laughs> um, other little notes. Uh, Finn Balor was with Carl Anderson. Um, they had a little match with the Revival. Yeah. Nothing special here. No, just, um, just burying the Revival a little bit more. Yeah. Just throwing it's, them down a hole. I don't know I what don't they're know. doing with, you know, any, I don't know what they're any doing with five either. of these guys yeah, I don't that know are all they're out doing. there like, what are you doing with them? What is this garbage that you're giving I us? don't, I just, I wish I could understand. Yeah. I don't. Revival aside, let's talk about Finn, because I think they're going to do the, uh, the three-way match for whoever gets that remaining spot on the Elimination Chamber, which was, I'm fairly certain, was supposed to be Jason Jordan. Yeah, I think I think we're in agreement yeah. on that. It was for Jason Jordan. Now he can't make it. So what I'm thinking is uh, Finn is going to go over in that match. Yeah, so it's going to be Finn, uh, Apollo Cruz. Oh, it's it's a fatal four way. So oh, it's, it's a fatal four. Yeah. So it's Finn, Wyatt, Cruz, Matt, Hardy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Ain't nowhere to be found. He's still crawling around. Hey, he's crawling. Um, they mentioned crawling that crap again, too. Again, oh, skin. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Our podcast is <laughs> ruined. But if you look at those four names, I mean, there's an obvious name that is sticking out to me. Yeah, it's Finn And Ballard. it's Apollo Cruz. Wait, no. what? The- <laughs> <laughs> that, I would be. That was good. You got I me. would be swerved. Hey, Apollo's doing great work right now. He's getting better. Yeah. It's the beard. I think he's always beard. been good, but like it's like they're letting him do a little more now. Yeah. Um, I mean he's he's more than just worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. <laughs> hoorah, hoorah. I think uh I definitely think that Finn is going yeah, over it's, here. I mean it's gotta be Finn. And and they're gonna give him, you know, don't get too excited that, you know, like, oh, they might change things around for Finn. He's gonna get the exact same spot that Jason Jordan had. Yeah. That's what he's getting. Um, and it's, but you, the way it, the way that the elimination chamber match is starting to shape out, I'm getting more interested. When when I look at the names that are in it, who you think's winning? Well, I, I'm, it's Roman. It's Roman. It's absolutely Roman. Don't get excited. It's Roman. I, it's it's gonna be Roman that wins. Who but takes the final pin? That's the key. Like I don't know. I think it's Miz. You think it's Miz? I think it's Miz. I think Miz will be the the key to eliminating Braun. I wow. don't know how. I think Miz is getting the pin on Braun. Okay. So who do we have in the elimination chamber again? We have Roman. We have Miz. We have Braun. Yes. We have uh, Cena. Cena. And we have. We're missing one. Well, we're saying Finn. Finn for sure. But in there is there there's, six. There's six because you got the four pods. We have Braun, Cena, Cena, Roman, 
Elias. 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 Of Elias. course, Elias, because he won um, the match. Yeah, he won the match to come in last. Yeah, so was, in the main event. Which is weird because the back half of the three don't get that opportunity at all. Which it is didn't, like. It didn't make a whole lot of sense. No, it didn't. Uh, so, also during the night, we had Miz and Apollo Crews, obviously, for a qualified match, and Miz yeah. won. So, we jumped yep. ahead a little bit. But, yeah, in the. They just, like, screwed everybody else. Yeah. It's just, okay. Yeah, like, well, none of you guys get a chance. We're putting Elias in last. Um, which, what did you think you know, about that? We'll give him most time. That'll give him some time in the ring, I guess, before he gets eliminated. Yeah. Because I don't think he's going to make that big of an impact. I don't see it, but, um, I mean, he, he does get some, he gets heat. He gets yeah, that he mis- does. He oh. gets that, like, that early Miz heat. Yeah, people, that, I, well, I think people like him too, though. Like, yeah, it's start, he's starting to get. I mean, he gets the same kind and it's of crowd funny that as the you, Miz Cole has putting him over every freaking night, man. That's mm-hmm. almost my favorite part about Elias. What Michael Cole is gonna gonna say about <laughs> him? Oh my gosh! Um, but what did you think about that match, the Triple Threat? So Elias went over I, Braun and Cena. Yeah, Elias went over Braun and Cena. Braun destroyed. Pretty much everybody. That's he took easy. a he took a guitar shot. Yeah, and he took that AA yeah. on the on the steps. On the steps. Um, but Braun crawls back in. The match is pretty good. The end sees Braun crawl back in, power slam Cena, and then Elias. Uh, just Elias like, slithers out of nowhere somehow and muscles Braun out of the ring and catches. I mean, that Elias thing. is a big dude. Yeah, but then Braun <laughs> Braun destroys him all at the end. Yeah, anyway. and it was kind of an awkward <clears throat> ending to Raw. I thought. Yeah. With. I think Braun was, you know, Braun lately has been getting that one more time chant, yeah. and he didn't really get it, and they were expecting it, because the music was off for a while, Yeah, and he's just kind of standing there, so I didn't well, like that's that. That's what you get when you get, you know, that was, it was kind of a lackluster match, really, yeah. but... Uh, Can we talk about my favorite part of the week, though? Absolutely. The Alexa Bliss promo. Yes, that was very, very good. It was very thoughtful. Yes. And whoever wrote it is, they're doing the, the right motions. Yes. Also, I don't know, I don't know if Kurt was working this or if somebody didn't inform him that this was going to happen. Because his he, faces were priceless. The, I don't know, I think, I'm pretty sure Kurt knew, it's just Kurt is that damn good. Yeah. At what he does. And <laughs> it was, just made, he's like, oh. it was just, that whole promo was just, to me, it was like almost a perfect promo. It's taking what's happening in the world right now. Yep. And seeing how Alexa Bliss, because Alexa Bliss would be that type of person to use something that's for good, but to her own benefit. Yes. Because I didn't realize this, but Kurt said like she hadn't defended her title since like October. Yeah. I didn't realize that either. And it's just like, oh, like she would try to pull something like this. Yeah. And I. I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. Alexa saying, is it because you, you know, because I'm a woman or is it because I'm not Brock Lesnar? Yeah. Like, who do you value more? Yeah. And I thought it was really well done. And it made sense. Yeah. It made perfect sense. But then, but then, Angle drops that line. It's like, well, you haven't defended your title and he just defended his. Like, here you go. This is why. And it's just like, hot. That, that right yeah. there was just perfect. Now later on with Alexa, there was something a little confusing to me where where uh, Absolution was beating down uh, uh, Mickey James. Yes, and she comes out and says, "Mickey James, what is happening? Is she is she trying to get because Mickey James is in that match? Is she trying to get an alliance with people? But it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I, it does make a sense in in the fact that Alexa has been no stranger to making alliances with yes. people. Yes. But in an elimination chamber match where she knows, she knows full and well none of these ladies are going to lie down for her. I but I think Alexa it would be like that. She's that type of character that would try everything in her power just to keep that title. So yeah. she's doing like a survivor yeah. type thing. Like she's got to build these alliances and then she'll turn. She'll she'll just backstab. Wouldn't it made no more sense to go with the hills though? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it would have, but there you go. Um, what'd you think about uh, Oscar versus Bailey? I thought it was an okay match. I, I was, enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty fun. Did you like it um, more than I? I liked what I liked was a little bit before then with Sasha. 
and, yes, and Bailey. Because I think you, I, you start to see yeah. Sasha starting to start to flip a little bit. Yeah. And I really, She's I watch, love. Sasha's watching the match repeatedly, and Bailey, uh, she tells Bailey, I know how to beat her. Yeah. And Bailey asks for the tips. She's like, I'm not going to give them to you. Yeah. And Bailey says, Well, if you think you can beat her, then I can definitely beat her because I can beat you. Yeah. And I thought it was really uh, well done. Yes. Then the match came out. It was a pretty hard hitting match. It was. I Bailey, think was, Bailey takes some of those those big hits, man. Yeah. She's. I thought this was probably one of Bailey's best matches in WWE. Yeah. Not on NXT, but an actual on the main roster. Asuka does that to people though too. She's yeah, she's good. But I am. I'm looking. For, yeah. I'm looking. Not for, to take away from Bailey because Bailey is an excellent yeah. wrestler. Oh, one note I do want to say is. The uh, Nia Jax squash match. Uh huh. The jobber. Yeah. It's a high school student. <laughs> it's a high school student? That's a 17 year old high school student. I did not she, know that. Yeah, it just it came out like the, yesterday or today <laughs> that it was a high school student. Well, good for her, man. <laughs> yeah, she's pulling that Hardy. Like Jeff and Matt Hardy. Yeah. The he, reverse were, boogeyman. Yeah. <laughs> the reverse boogeyman. <laughs> I heard God, he was like 45 when he yeah, joined. Yeah, like, what was the age or shit? It was like 28 or something. Yeah. Was the absolute limit. And he's like, I'm 28. Yeah, I'm 28. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. You're pushing it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was there anything else from Ron um, that stuck out to you? Yes. The way that they did Asuka and Nia Jax at Elimination Chamber. Oh, yes. They, so normally in past times that would be a throwaway match they just put on the card but they actually gave it meaning they gave it a stipulation yes which makes it feel yes way more important yes a lot of people were kind of hating I saw them hating on the fact that Asuka isn't in the elimination chamber match so like it doesn't make any sense well it doesn't make any sense to have her there because she won the Royal Rumble yeah to go on to Wrestlemania in a one on one match yes in a one on one and now this adds another layer that if Nia Jax can pull off the feat of beating Asuka, yeah. then she gets to be in that match too at Mania. I'm very curious to see yeah, your prediction for Elimination Chamber. Yeah. I can't wait till the three of us get back together to do predictions. Oh, yeah, man. I I mean, I'm getting kind of excited for Elimination Chamber. Yeah, it's honest. looking okay. It's looking all right. We live streaming it? We, you want to go live with it, baby? Yeah, man. We go live, gonna, baby. I think, I think we can go live with it. <laughs> I think if we get everybody to get, like, I think it was fun. I think the Royal Rumble was a ton of fun. Yeah. We got plenty of subs. We were hitting people with chairs. So. Yeah. It's a good time. I, I, I loved it, man. I loved it. All right. Well, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good to me. So, let's switch over to SmackDown. All right. So, at the top of SmackDown, we uh, started out with, uh, was it Shane? It was uh, Shane, Shane and Daniel Bryan, yeah. Talking about how... You know your normal, your normal stuff. Ko and Sammy get everything. Mm-hmm. Why does he keep doing this? He says that Daniel Bryan actually lives vicariously through Ko and Sammy, and he also mentions that Daniel Bryan actually wants to wrestle. So I thought that was a nice little hint yeah. that they threw in. Yeah, but but overall, I'm still done with this bull crap. It's the same old thing. Yeah. Like it's just, I mean. I don't know how much longer you can go with it. Yes, I know. I, surely I think, they have it's to, going. It's surely going. They have, to, <laughs> they have to drop it soon because they got to start building to Shinsuke and yeah. AJ. That needs to have a good build because that's going to be a good match. Make it worthwhile, WWE. But what if they... Uh, <laughs> what if WWE does the... Um, what was it? Was it WrestleMania 8? Where they switched it on you, where you thought you were going to get Hogan Flair at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. but instead you got Flair, Savage, and Hogan, Sid Vicious, and they throw a yeah. curveball at you, and they like, oh, here, you'll get KO and AJ at Mania. Yeah. That's what I was trying to relate, like, okay, which way are we, which way are we rearranging these <laughs> yeah. guys to? Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. You get, like, KO and Shinsuke, Yeah. I don't. I want AJ and Shinsuke. That's the only one that I want. That's surely, what I surely want. they're going to do that. But 
I I just would not be surprised. The way that SmackDown is going right now, they would just throw us something weird like yeah, that. Yeah, the show at this point, you know, it does have moments, but it feels more throwaway than it ever has since the brand split. Yeah. Uh, at like, this point in time, because I came in after the brand split, I love SmackDown. I still do love SmackDown. I don't want to mm-hmm. come off as as a, just a Raw-only main show guy. I'm really yeah. not. I love the the weirdness and the kind of work on your feet style that SmackDown was. Okay. Yeah, was. And now, yeah, now it's just all muddled up. And the after the last the uh, superstar shakeup, you know, SmackDown got kind of robbed. Oh, they got yeah, they got yeah. KO, and that was it. They yeah KO. They got Jericho for one match. Um, yeah, I mean, he was just he just happened to be there that yeah. night. Doing a podcast. That's the only reason why he Well, also, he was still owed the rematch or whatever. Yeah. So. But they lost The Miz and Ambrose, who yeah. were two of your top stars. They lost Bray. Lost Bray. And look what happened to Bray. Bray should have stayed. <laughs> He's even worse off, man, than having his freaking house burned down. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why he went the wrong. Wait, no, he his house did his house burn down on SmackDown? Yes, yes. Randy Orton burned it down. That's dude. right. And people cheered him for burning the man's house down. <laughs> that's where he lives. <laughs> he lives in that shed. <laughs> but yeah, so they so the night was basically built around KO and Sammy are going one on one to be the number one contender to face AJ mm-hmm. at Fastlane, and of course. Of course, uh, are we going to go straight into the, wanna, the main event? You want to go into the main event? Or yeah, you wanna go we'll, we'll talk about the main event. So, Sammy comes out, and then they cut to commercial, and as soon as they come back, AJ is coming out. And at that very moment, you know, we're going to get a triple threat <laughs> threat yeah. match at Fastlane. Like, yeah, there's <laughs> something wonky. Yeah, that. why are you bringing AJ out here for this match? Why can't he just look awkwardly over his shoulder at the TV in the back? Uh, that's the TV. Yeah. You fought both the guys plenty of times before. You don't need to be up close to yeah, see you, them. Yeah, you, you don't need to scout these guys. Yeah. yeah. Usually that's like the purpose of them being there is to get a good, get a close look at them. But, dude, you just wrestled them two weeks ago. You yep. wrestled both of them at the same time. Yep. <laughs> you don't. It, the match and the match itself. The match I, itself was, I liked it. I didn't think it was very good. You didn't like it? I thought it was not even close to any of the other matches they've had. Ever. I know this had story, you know, storyline and tensions on it too. Yeah. You know how Vince likes a story driven thing over matches. Yes. Um, which is notable about 205 Live. It's something we can... Which you and yeah. Ryan are going to be talking yeah. about tomorrow. Um, but the match itself, it, it even got a Fight Forever chant. I think people were just making the motions to do it because... Did they get a Fight Forever chant? Yes. Yes, they did. And, or well, they uh, a, maybe it was a This Is Awesome chant. You know, they all started... Yeah. I was about to say they have together, a t-shirt but, that says Fight Forever on it. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't think the match, I didn't think it was bad, but it didn't live up to anything. And then, of course, you see him go out there by AJ and you're like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Crap's about to happen. And the way that they went about this, too, I did not like. Because Sammy is just kind of like trash-talking AJ a little bit. Yeah. And AJ is like trying to blow him off. That's cool, mm-hmm. whatever. But all Sammy did was grab his chair and spin it around, which that got AJ fired up enough yeah. to hit him. Maybe it's just one of those things that you have any like things in your life that make you irrationally mad. Uh myself yes ah because i i have some things like that what do you got okay one thing that will make me really mad for for almost no reason is is getting hit in the face what do you but, mean <laughs> yes you but, get hit in the yes, face <laughs> yes but not like intentionally like if somebody accidentally like they're throwing a ball or something like that and that ball hits me in the <laughs> face i'm still as furious as i was if <laughs> if it weren't an accident like i get un unreasonably mad about it um and it, it's hard to make me mad i i'm a pretty calm and collected person but that shot to the face is the unexpected shot to the face that's what she um, said maybe that's what i should say it's unexpected <laughs> and also whenever somebody drinks i don't i don't do milk product very often anymore but 
if you drink out of my milk or taste my cereal or my ice cream or anything <laughs> with milk in it, it's yours. I don't have anything. To, I'm pissed that you touched it. <laughs> I'm pissed that your spit is now in it. Oh, okay, so if they're like drinking out of the cart, not if they, they yes, okay. Oh, especially if, if I see somebody drinking straight out of the jug or cart, I'm like you asshole. <laughs> that milk was for everybody. <laughs> that milk was for everybody, <laughs> and now I can't have any. Oh my gosh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's really random, but maybe maybe getting spun in the chair really fast is one of those things that. He's like, okay, you just made me dizzy. I'm pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I hate being dizzy. Yes. <laughs> um, so he just swings at him real hard. Yes. And then, then Kevin Owens is laying on the ground. He picks him up and swings at him, too. Yeah. Um, Which then calls for Daniel Bryan to come out. Yep. And make the match a triple threat. Yep, and la di da We got exactly what we knew we would the moment we saw AJ Styles come yeah, out. Yeah, so that's what you have to look forward to at Fastlane. Yeah, AJ I, I, I assume it'll be a, a decent match, but... Yeah. Maybe this will finally be the end of this story. Yeah. So I don't know I when Fastlane so. is airing. But I can just only imagine that that Shane or or uh, Daniel are going to interject themselves as a special guest referee. I. Maybe so. I mean, but we I mean, were we've also seen ex- it before, so why wouldn't we see it again? Yeah, but I, we were expecting something at Royal Rumble. We didn't get it. So who knows? I, I mean, this whole storyline doesn't make any damn sense. So. Yeah, it's just it's it, it it's it's it run its course. Yeah, and it's time to end it. Yep, it makes me. Uh, it's like somebody drank out of my WWE milk, man. It's yeah, pissing me off. Yeah, it's pissing me off. They're using your WWE. They cup. spun me in my WWE chair. They poured your bootios. Yeah, into my it. bootios, man. <laughs> They're playing my my Jack specific belts. <laughs> oh. You're gonna you, you don't care anything about this, but speaking of bootios, so the Eagles, mm-hmm. Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl, but when they were doing an interview and one of the guys' lockers, they had bootios in there. They had bootios. What do you think won this won them the Super Bowl? Well, you, you think the the Eagles won the Super Bowl because they ain't booty? They ain't booty. It's it's funny. My Facebook would disagree. <laughs> um, I mean, by all the posts I was reading as I was I mean, down. I hate the Eagles. I hate Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> I hate it so much. My only pleasure is is we're from Texas, so yeah. Knowing good and well, me and the Ryder, Cowboys, me and Ryder Cowboys fans. Yes, yeah, knowing good and well that people around here love the Cowboys so damn much, which it doesn't make sense because none of the damn players are even from Texas. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense to me. Um, just asking if the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl or not during that Super Bowl weekend. Get some real salty, man. Get some real salty. Why are you the way that you are? I don't know, man. I, everybody else in my family loves the sport. Just not for me, man. I've always just You've always just loved the sport yeah. and entertainment. Yes. I like my rig sports to be honest about it. That's what I that's that's what I'll leave that off on. Um, other things that happened in SmackDown, not a whole lot. Uh, Bludgeon Brothers beat some more jobbers. The I, Usos, it kind of reversed. They did the reverse they, thing where the Usos looked at them coming on the way down, as opposed to last week when the Bludgeon Brothers looked at them. I was way. I was hoping that the Bludgeon Brothers were actually going to stay this time though, yeah, because I feel like the Bludgeon Brothers wouldn't just walk away. Man, how rocking is their song, dude? I like them. Dude, it's so dope, the, man. the only thing I do not do not like about the Bludgeon Brothers is their cane attire. Yeah, it's just it's weird. Yeah, to me it's weird. But I I, I I've always yeah. liked them too as a tag team, and their new moves that they mm-hmm. come together with. Yeah, are, they're stiff, man. They're awesome. Oh, I'm loving it. They're flattening. I people. think them versus Usos. That's going to be a good match whenever yep. that comes comes to be. Uh, the top ten list. What the what the hell is this? Yeah. Okay. What, what is? Let's let's read it down from number ten. First, right off at number ten, you realize okay, this was never a vote. They this was all scripted. This is bullcrap. It was Ty Dillinger, the perfect ten. Kyle does not like Ty Dillinger. He doesn't even belong in the ten list. Okay. You gotta agree with that. I would put him higher on this list, honestly. Oh, get the hell out of here. I might put him in the top three. Oh, my God. Um, I think he deserves a chance, man. He deserves <laughs> a damn chance. Tell him to cut off that ponytail. <laughs> I think his aesthetic is cool, man. I think it looks cool. His music is cool. 
I like doing this. Um, so Ty Dillinger is ten. Randy Orton is nine. Becky Lynch is eight. The Usos are seven. The New Days are are six. Which that makes zero sense to me. Yeah. Why well, would you have Usos are tag team champs? Yeah. If you're the, rigging this thing already, then the New Day. I, when was the last time the New Day actually wrestled? That was Xavier Woods yeah. against Gender. And what happened in that match? I, I believe Gender won. Yeah. Well, they. Who was in the the thing for with Rusev last week that he won? One of them. It was. I think it was Kofi. Was it Kofi? Yeah, I think it was Kofi who Rusev beat to go to the okay. So the that's, U.S. match. That's but, two yeah. losses. Yeah, but the Usos are under the New Day, which. I don't get it. No sense. I don't. This list is stupid. I I get it. It's I just don't get a stupid. It. I don't know what the purpose is. It's a list. I mean, I get the the idea of a list scrolling down, ranking people and stuff. I just don't get why you had to do it and why it had to be. Okay, I don't get it. Dude. I, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think a lot harder than I need to be thinking about it. I think uh, Bobby Roode is number five. Uh, Naomi is number four. That seems really random. Uh, yeah, it's so um, random to me. Shinsuke Nakamura is number three. Charlotte Flair is number two, and AJ Styles is number one. So you have your two top champs on the, in the top. Yeah, but I just I don't understand the list. I don't know what the purpose is. I don't know what. WWE, what creative is thinking to do with this list? Yeah, because it's not like oh here are like yeah congratulations your champion is so, number one. So you're telling me Randy Orton should be number one contender because Kevin Owens isn't on the list, Sami Zayn isn't on the list, um, Rusev is not on the list. Rusev is not on the list, which he was he. He faced Bobby Roode that night for the U.S. Yeah. title. Rusev the Bludgeon is Brothers are not even on the massively list. over in the in the opening segment or whatever. They're chanting Rusev Day so damn hard that Daniel Bryan has to acknowledge, or not Daniel Bryan, Shane Shane has to acknowledge it. Yeah, he just says duly noted, but that they were just chanting it. Do something with it. Yeah, WWE, like he do uh, something with Rusev. I guess you know he did have a match that was a good match with Bobby Roode. Yeah, but I was. Ex- like I said last week, I was expecting a like a double turn. Yeah, Rusev really could carry that belt better than Bobby Roode, in my opinion. Oh, definitely. I know they're not going to give it up to him on SmackDown and just randomly. Not yet, but like he would do so much better with that belt. He yeah. has done better with that belt. Bobby Roode needs to turn heel. Rusev needs to just be turned face. Is there anybody on this list that you th- that you think should have been on it? Besides Rusev, I think the Bludgeon Brothers, they haven't lost yet. Yeah, well, this is, it's a uh, locker room uh, personality as well. Locker room leadership, skill, and in-ring ability, which those two things are the same thing. It's something like that. One of the one of the, the yeah. two requirements were the same, or two of the, you know what I mean. What is the, like, is this your top ten friends list? For yeah. MySpace? Yeah, that's what it is. It's a MySpace list, dude. It's a top eight. Like, with with the, the added feature of plus two. Wait, hold on. Let me look at something. though. What? All these people are are faces. They're all good guys. Yeah. There's no bad guy. So what's... What the... Like... Yeah. <laughs> what is the purpose of the list? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it's so I, dumb. I don't know. You know, I'm done with the list. Yeah. Done with it. They need to leave the list to Jericho. Yeah, leave the list to just Jericho. SmackDown just made the list. Smack, yes. You just made the list. Yes. Um, so we did have Bobby Roode and Rusev, which we just said was a. It I, was. A, I, it was a good match. It was a. I. It was probably yeah match of the night. Yeah. For I would give it to him because I thought it was it was a lot of fun, a lot of good back and forth, a lot of uh, uh there's a couple of near falls with yeah. Rusev and them. I. I thought it was good. I thought the glorious DDT on the end was... Dude, that was a massive DDT. Yeah, and it came out of nowhere. I thought yeah. it actually came out of nowhere. Speaking of coming out of nowhere, right after that, Randy Orton showed up right out of nowhere. Yep. He RKO'd Barbie, Bobby Roode. He RKO'd uh, Aiden yeah. English trying Which to get Rusev that. trying to get out of the... And then he tried to get out of the ring and Orton's yeah. like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> and got him. And then he gave one to Rusev as well. Yep. I thought that was a great champion, U.S. championship match. 
especially just for for it being on SmackDown. I thought yeah. it was a phenomenal match, and I like that they're they're at least trying to do something else with Bobby Roode, putting him against Orton. I not sure what their thought process why Orton's going after the U.S. title now, but if you if you've got any ideas, just like let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we're we're kind of stumped. Yeah, I mean, yeah, SmackDown stumps us a yeah. lot. We don't know what they're doing with what what this whole Daniel Bryan, Shane, KO, Sammy it's, Styles. It's all over feud. the place, man. This sucks. Yeah. So if you got ideas what they're yeah. doing, let yeah. us know because we don't know. <laughs> so how long do you think Randy Orton and Bobby Roode is going to go on? I'm So what I'm assuming this year around. They're both faces, too. Yeah, so what I'm assuming this year around, um, I think this leads to a matchup mania. I think. Well, hold on. You think it goes to mania? I think. Well, there. This is my thing. I you think, think it goes to fast lane. I think it. I think <laughs> fast Is that where fast lane's happening? It happens in fast lane. Yeah. <laughs> Life in the fast lane. But uh, so I, I'm assuming that they're gonna do Orton versus Rude at fast lane. And then I'm assuming this year, since they had a tag team ladder match for the titles. You think they're going to do the ladder match at Mania with for the, the US, US title? He just has because some sort it of was big the inter- open challenge and everybody keeps coming out or something like that? Yeah, they could do something like that. Yeah, yeah that would be okay. Plus, like, I mean, who SmackDown, it's just... It just has too many mid-carters that are Let's not, just hope, yeah, let's hope. After WrestleMania, we get another superstar shakeup, and we yeah, reshuffle need, some cards. They need some. They need a lot of shakeup. <laughs> I'm hoping that they're going to move Oscar over to SmackDown. Yeah, I. I what do you I've do been, with Charlotte? Yeah, that's what I. I was. <coughs> I'm hoping me. that they're going to take Oscar and Charlotte at Mania. Like that seems like a good match. It seems like a good way to separate Ronda and Oscar. Uh, yeah, but what are you doing with Ronda? I mean, we, haven't, has, we haven't seen her she since has, Royal Rumble. She has plenty of people on the roster to squash that are not Asuka. And she's too big of a name not to be... If Asuka and Ronda are together, she's just too big of a name for them to not collide at some point. Oh, yeah, it's happening. It need, they need to be split apart for a while. I think I could see that happening. Uh, I'd keep them apart for a year. Yeah. Asuka, I think, needs to go to SmackDown. Yes. You can send, you know. <gasps> oh, I, I got it. You got, got it? What do, it? What do you got, dude? Well, I, I would love to see... I would love to see Asuka and Ronda just at Mania. This year? Yes, I would. Because... But, I mean, it's not going to happen because neither of them will have the title. Yeah. But I feel like the perfect the perfect match would be Asuka and Ronda. Maybe Asuka has the title. Maybe this is at SummerSlam. Who knows? Yeah. But um, Asuka and Ronda are just beating the holy hell out of each other. And that's when Carmella cashes in. Think about the heat. I love it. I love it. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> I think Money in the Bank is before SummerSlam, though, isn't it? I don't know. I, haven't I seen think the, it is. I haven't looked at the schedule this year. I don't really remember... Yeah. It doesn't I'm, matter. Yeah, I mean, it's it's down the line. Yeah, that's just yeah, a little yeah, thought. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was SmackDown pretty much in a, in a nutshell. Yeah, it was that's... confusing. The list was stupid. The matches were, there were, was a good match. Yeah, there was a good match. And that's SmackDown. Same old, same old. Same old, same old with SmackDown. <laughs> I, think, I think Raw wins it this week. Yeah, Raw took, Raw took it. With just the Alexa Bliss segment alone. Like, oh my gosh. So good. I enjoyed that part but, um, so much. All right, so it's you and Ryan tomorrow? Yep, me and Ryan will be filming tomorrow. Now, will the video be up tomorrow night? I'm not sure it'll be up tomorrow or the next day. This one will probably be up tomorrow. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about some NXT and 205 Live. Oh, 205 Live was so good. We might yeah. talk about that mix match challenge, too. Yeah, yeah, on Whether yeah. or not Ryan watched it. I I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I, I had can't a wait lot to hear your thoughts yeah. on 205 because I loved it. Oh, yeah, me too. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh but yeah, take it easy, guys. Thank yeah. you so much. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell on the side to get more notifications for whenever we post. 
We're working on getting our posts more and more and more frequently. Mm-hmm. About to have a schedule all set up for you guys. So yeah, take it easy, fellas and lady fellas, and whatever you want to be, fellas. Yes. <laughs> Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. <laughs> <laughs>